Yes. This is the program embedded C program for toggling LEDs LED blinking. So this is the previous project. Just I am closing. This is the next project. Go project tab and choose the option new project. Toggle LEDs. So give your project name and choose the controller manufacturer which is Atmel. Just click on plus mark. You will get the list of devices from Atmel manufacturer. From this list choose the device 889C51. Click on OK and this is the startup code warning. Just click on no. So now you people created a project and you are doing your project on a specific microcontroller which is from Atmel 889C51. Now open editor window, go file tab and choose the option new. So just try to save this program before writing this. For this go file and click on save tab. Now what is your project which is toggle LED and save this program with .c extension and click on save now write your program and just check out your case sensitive this is the header file for your all 5.1 families And this is the header file. And now I am taking two user defined variables, one as a character data types x and y. I need two variables for operating my iopen logics and for performing LED toggle one by one and take one more variable as an integer this is for delay And now configure your specific port as output by applying logic 0 and you have to take one infinite loop Now so initially I am assigning for x variable as 0x01 hexadecimal value that means what is the binary equivalent for this 0001 this is the binary equivalent this is the initial value now I am taking a for loop for operating LEDs one by one and I am repeating this process eight times so uh, my condition should be less than eight if you start with zero
make sure your programming lines on which loop what you are writing now open your for loop brace and write down so now I am assigning this logic of p1 as x so what is your x now 0x01 zero zero and I am waiting some time with the help of simple for loop this is self for loop I am taking for delay generation after some time delay just do left shift operation of your x variable and again repeat your for loop so this one position will be shifted to left side once and again you are assigning this value to p1 this will be repeated eight times so this will happen and after completion of eight times then again which is assigned with 0x01 zero zero open close for loop close while loop and close main so now after writing your complete program save your lines and if you want to compile this add your program to source group which is available on target one just right click on source group one and select the file add files to source group one this is the file name and click on add close once your file is added you will get plus mark for source group one after adding your source file with your source group just build once it will show your errors and warnings of your program so, already these brackets are available right so now so this is the complete program for operating your LEDs one by one and to see the hardware simulation create hex file for your equivalent embedded C program this is the process for creating hex file select target one and right click and select the option options for target target one and give your crystal oscillator frequency and highlight this use on chip ROM and select output tab and highlight this create hex file option and click on ok after giving all these options go project tab and select build target so now you will find this hex file name of your equivalent embedded C program just to minimize your development tool and open your hardware simulation and pick the components by click on the symbol P take your controller from the library and type the color of LEDs choose the microcontroller and pick the other component which is LED Connect all anode ends of your LEDs with IO pins in a sequential order. Go 
so this is the way you have to connect all with your anodes just connect all anode ends with individual io pins and take ground connection from terminals mode and make sure all cathode ends should be connected with cath ground line extend your ground line for all cathode ends of leds So after doing all your hardware connections this double click on controller and there is a program file with a folder symbol let's click on this folder symbol so it will ask for x file path and choose your x file name and click on open and give the same clock frequency as 11.0592 now you can play your hardware simulation and you can see the response of your leds they will glow one by one so this is the way you have to develop your source code with keel software and you can check your hardware results with the help of proteus simulation software so this will repeat again because of while loop this process which is keep on executing and if you want to stop just click on this stop thank you